Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. Quotas are the best way to ensure that you collect the exact amount of data required for your study. They do this by keeping track of your responses and checking if they meet any of the conditions you have set in your survey. A common use case for quotas is wanting to have a certain number of respondents for each of your desired age groups. Before we walk through how to create quotas, it is important to note that we do not recommend exclusively using quotas when monetary rewards are involved. This is due to quota information not being saved until the survey has been submitted, meaning you could be going over quotas if multiple people who are eligible have submitted the survey at the same time. Now, we are ready to start creating and using quotas. Let's begin in our survey tab and find and click the quotas option on the left-hand side of the screen. Once we're on the quota page, we can select either of the add quota options. You will then see a pop-up that displays the different quotas available to you. For today, we'll just stick with the simple logic quota. This means that your quota will be incremented each time your conditions are met instead of using percentages to define how participants are distributed in your quota. Once we've selected simple logic quota, click create a quota. Now we can set our logic conditions. These are similar to display logic by having multiple logic sets and allowing the use of embedded data and questions in condition statements. For this survey, I only want to collect 10 people whose favorite color is green. To do this, I will select question in the first dropdown, the specific question in the second, and the answer choice green in the third dropdown. Now we can set the limit to this quota. We can do this by going to the top right corner and putting our desired number there. After doing so, we can also rename our quota by going to the new quota text on the top left hand side and changing the title there. Now that we've set our conditions, we can look through our survey options and decide what we want to happen to respondents who choose green after our quota limit has been reached. Here, we have a ton of options. We can end the survey as soon as they answer the question, stop the survey from displaying any specific blocks or questions, stop the survey from collecting any new responses, and even set up some web feedback options. If we set up logic in the survey flow, we can also choose the none option to avoid messing with any of the preset logic. For today, I still want people who like red and blue to be able to submit their responses. So I will end their current survey and then display a customized message explaining why their current session has ended. And just like that, we've set up a survey that allows exactly 10 green responses and it ends the survey for anybody else who chooses green as their favorite color. And that's it. Thank you for learning about quotas with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the two minute tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.